I'm Katrina and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between a synced and a duplicate control element. So I've got an example control element filter over here that is going to filter my product type. To create an additional copy of this filter, I can come to this kebab menu or the three dot menu. And this time I'm going to create a synced copy. So we can see that, let me just move this over here. We can see that Sigma automatically added an additional control element. And when I select an option from either control element, it syncs or is mirrored in the other element. And we can see this again by looking at the control ID. So we can see that it's just product type and this one is also product type. A synced control element is really handy when you think about having the same element or the same filters on different tabs. So we can see that if I filter something on this additional tab, that it is reflected over here on my first tab. This is going to be different or as opposed to a duplicate copy of a filter, a duplicate filter. So we can see that when I duplicate this filter, Sigma gives us a new control ID. And this is basically just saying that these two things are disconnected. So if I select a control or excuse me, if I select an option in this control element, it is not mirrored in this one. An important thing to keep in mind or to remember is if you duplicate a tab, your control elements will basically act like uh, duplicates of that. So we can see that Sigma is giving us a control type two and a control type with a dash three. So again, keep in mind that both of these options are really powerful or really helpful depending on what you want to do. Sometimes you may want to keep things together, keep them synced, and other times you may want to keep them separate. So duplicate is uh, separate, synced is together, or synced is mirrored. Thanks for listening and I hope this helps.